the government have failed to help our greenhouse growers with increasing energy costs, which will ensure that this winter, many greenhouse growers won't be growing food this winter. Added to that, other growers that need energy will be joining them. This has a significant impact on our food industry, our supply and our food security and inflation costs to the public. And um, this is very well explained um, in a clip from ITV interviewing greenhouse grower Tony Montalbano. This is the first harvest of the year for green acre salads. The farm, which is in Royden in Essex, grows baby cucumbers for retailers including Morrison's and Aldi. It was forced to stop production earlier this year because of rising energy costs following the war in Ukraine. They're still three times what they were a year ago. Following on from a loss last year, Tony Montalbano is only expecting to break even by the end of this year and has already seen multiple producers leave the business altogether. Do you kind of feel you're almost like a dying breed? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, it, it's, not, uh, it's not great. Uh, I mean, I'm doing something slightly different to others, so I feel like uh, it's my sort of product. This is the only thing I know. Uh, and I'm trying to keep the family business going. It, it seems like we're out here on our own and just supporting ourselves. Tony says UK salad growers are facing a triple threat to their business. Spiralling energy bills, supermarket prices which don't reflect growers' costs, and also a shortage in workers. Alina and her husband Gabby, who are from Romania, have worked here for the past four years. They're part of a team who will now pick around 150,000 cucumbers every day until June. In Romania I do have work, but here I have. It's nice, Tony is like family, yeah? It's just no stress, I'm happy to work here. As soon as the cucumbers are picked, they're taken to the wholesalers who then distribute them to the retailers. It's a short turnaround time with these cucumbers ending up on supermarket shelves, anything between two to four days of being picked. And it's that ability to get fresh UK grown produce on the shelves so quickly that Tony believes the government needs to support. I mean, if Britain can't have their own produce on their own doorstep, import everything, that, that's not the answer. It's not the answer. I mean, I, I generally, I know because I'm in the industry and eventually what the people don't realise is that you're going to be paying for it. And who's going to, um, who's going to be suffering? Are, are us Brits that we haven't got our own pro produce. And who's going to thrive out of it is oh, Europeans and whoever's importing it. Back in the 80s, Britain decided to give up coal mining and import all our coal. And pretty much the same thing is happening with our food and farming system. There is no food plan. There is no plan for us to produce food. And it seems that a decision has been made to ensure that nearly most all of our food is imported. And this means that for the British people, there will be a total loss of control. We look forward to reading your comments and please don't forget to subscribe.